So, like I was doing uh, a couple days ago, uh, I did the calcs for damage and refund for Hokusai, and wow, is it dramatically different. Uh, in this video, I'll also show like what she used to refund, um, just for just to like highlight the difference. Um, I didn't do this for Moriarty just because like his MP buff and the fact that he's more catered to like CQs than just loop farming in general. Um, Okusai can honestly do both. She is far better in CQs because that's where her third skill will actually have and her MP now they'll actually ramp up together and Hokusai is at like legitimately art crit DPS now. Uh, she was one before, but uh, the defense down, it was chance, uh, it was fighting like magic resist. Her arts res down is not fighting magic resist. And it, it the more she MPs, the more damage she's gonna do. And I just really, Acts on with like wanting to hit art crits. If you're able able to BB card lock, you are like in for some like really gross. Um, just the, like you are, you're gonna come very very close to hitting the uh the cap for the, like defense down. And then you have arts res down to like like apply to the formula even more so hokusai she has almost every type of uh damage increase that you can imagine the only thing she is lacking is a power mod but power mod goes into the same formula as mp damage so it's not the biggest of deals it just it, but it does affect her face cards oh yeah she also doesn't get crit but again not the biggest deal. If you need to give her crit, just bring in another support like Popus Johanna. Uh, unfortunately, then you can use BB, but is what it is. So this is Oe. This is not the original Hokusai. This is the original Hokusai, the Tentacle. Um, and this is his daughter. Just in case you haven't actually read it. Uh. Face attack 12.1k, the exact same as Abigail, HP. I was just talking about it in Lu Bu's video, how his HP wasn't that much uh, lower than Hokusai's. But that's just because Hokusai kind of has just low HP for a five star. Um, most five stars are setting around like 14k, she's at 13. So, would say she's easy to go down, but She's a foreigner, so berserkers aren't hurting her to death. She's taking neutral most of the time. And if she's not taking neutral, why the fuck are you bringing her to fight a foreigner? Or space Arashigul. Haven't done the video for her yet, so I actually don't know the full class advantage. I just know that she's good against sexual. And we do have others. Star weight, star gen. Four in our numbers, MP charge low at 0.33%. Now, we're gonna get to this. This is not as bad as it was before. And now that she has the MP gain on her MP, these are looking closer to what a rush control has. Um, uh, like, and I'm not talking space, I'm talking OG arrest, arrest goal. Um, but, Arash's base MP gate is a lot higher. So do not expect these to jump up like Arash goes when you arts card on her arts card. But these are six hit arts cards that a lot of the time you're gonna have arts res down and a huge like a good MP gain buff along with Castorias. So this number in practice is not reflective now of what Hokusai actually does. It counts. Awesome. Like, extra attack is the weak spot, but Mighty Chains with her look really good. Uh, Arts Chains. If you crit on these, like, you kind of have to hope you have higher than MP1. Because you... Yeah, no. Uh, we'll get to it, but if you're hitting three enemies, you do not have to worry about Arts Card Refund. Your MP is going to refund enough. 
if you're only using her against one enemy, then you have to worry about face guards. But you're still going to be stacking on the debuffs. So it's your MP gain is going to be higher on that one boss than normal just because you actually do will have ramp up on there. First skill, dodge one turn, 30 battery. This is on a five turn cooldown. I have seen servants have the same exact skill. And I think it's uh, Chiyome uh, Mochizuki. He has the same exact skill, a dodge and a 30 battery on a six turn. I'm not a fan of skills having the same exact effect and then having different cooldowns. I feel if the effect is a certain turn for one servant, it should be this like if the effect is the exact same, it should be the same on another servant. Now, if it's a very special lore buff, like something like uh, Alice, I like she has that two turn battery. You're like, um, like as if it's a generic skill, they all should be the same. If it's a special skill, that's when there's exceptions. But a dodge and a battery is not. This is not a special skill. So many servants have something like this. Like, sorry, I'm getting like wrapped up on this, but like, why is Hocus Size better than everyone else's? Even though this isn't that good of a skill, like it's good, but it's not that good. Second skill, Ooh, I'm ranting. 30% arts up, buff removal resistance one turn, debuff resistance one turn. You can't take your buffs this turn, and you can't debuff her this turn. Very nice, especially for CQs, because very common in CQs uh, for a break bar, or not very common, but like if it's going to happen, it's going to be in a CQ or story. And the second you break the bar, you're going to lose all your buffs. This stops it that from happening, and then you can't get stunned, or you're very unlikely to get stunned. Uh, you're you're not going to get MP sealed, skill sealed, none of that this, this turn. It can happen, but it's just going to be super, super unli unlikely because this is just a wombo combo for that. And third skill. This is not what was buffed. This is this was the first buff. And it went from arts cards bring uh, doing defense down to star weight for arts cards and giving 15 crit stars. Legitimately making Hokusai a arts crit servant. Now, is she that good at it? Uh, unfortunately, uh, it's only the 15 stars and that's kind of it. So unless you actually make Hokusai crit, she's probably not going to be critting. Um, luckily, we have Popus Johanna to force art servants to be able to crit. Uh, it's just that Popus Johanna doesn't work in... Uh, I'm not going to say she doesn't play nice, but there are just so many different art supports out there. There's so many of them um, that you kind of just have to build. It's, it's hard to say, like, use this exact team for every single CQ. Um, just know, like, Popus Johanna appreciates, or art servants that have some crit appreciate Popus Johanna. And... Anything to make you want to click Hokusai Arts cards is something you need to take into consideration. Because 20% defense down. Like I said with the BB card lock, um, two MP, no, three MPs and two Arts cards, and you hit 100% defense down. Now, if you BB card lock, you're going to hit that so much quicker. Uh, you're going to hit it on the. You're going to hit 100% down for the second wave's uh, second arts card. You will hit 100% uh, defense down, and you'll also have 40% arts res down. So your arts crit is going to, like, it's going to hit like a tactical nuke. Like, I would not be surprised if you were seeing uh, MP level damage from that card if it was buffed up by Yolana, because you do not commonly see like actually 100% defense down 
with uh res down to go with it like you see that in honkai yeah like the way this kit flows it kind of feels like a honkai kit just because like honkai has characters that specialize in debuffs like that's the nihility path fgo really doesn't have stuff like that like it's only dps's that are actually able to stack on the defense down while like in honkai like there are a whole bunch of debuffers that can do that and honkai is a newer game so there's going to be way more that come out in the future uh it's only in its first year while uh fgo is in its ninth uh but yeah sorry for the tangent but yeah i like this skill uh i have focus on my account and with this mp buff i'm probably gonna bring her out more unfortunately that account has my mp5 jock to melee so uh i'm always gonna default the jock as the skills existence outside of the domain this makes her work with van gogh every four not every foreigner has this uh so you have to be aware of this uh when before you pair a foreigner with van gogh is like make sure they actually have this passive otherwise you're not gonna see the massive benefits uh van gogh gives to foreigners but two stars every turn 12 percent debuff resist item construction b debuff success rate she does need this she needs uh this debuff uh success rate up for to land this because any servant that has like high magic resist like we're talking like goddess essence you're not landing this defense down it's it's not gonna happen but for servants that have like uh like 10 to 20 percent magic resist this is gonna this fights it off it turns like 10 percent into two percent chance of failing it turns a uh 20 percent chance of failing to a 12 percent like you're literally and like most servants don't even have 20 percent most of them are sitting around uh like 12 12 to like 15 and that's like pretty much only the night classes we're not even talking about servants that don't have passive if they don't have passives you don't even have to worry about this uh arts up four percent divinity for extra tickle append skills uh you're gonna want mana loading just because she has a 30 battery but because she's arts it really doesn't matter that much you don't need to worry about uh starting from zero like that focus size i'm gonna show it with the refund or I'm gonna show it when I show MP refund. You do not have to worry about saving batteries with Focus Eye. Not anymore. Uh, it It's very, very high refund. Uh, to the point where if you're using a double Oberon comp, I mean, not double Oberon, double Castoria Oberon with Black Rail, you are not hurting for refund. It's, it's really dumb um, considering what she used to do uh anti -berser berserker of pen uh very happy that they're gonna make it so you can swap off of pens because she's not gonna need mana loading half the time this is she already does full damage to berserkers this is just winning harder and berserkers are gonna uh hit her less does she need skill reloading It depends if you're using her with Tomo. If you use her with Tomo, I would say yes. Just so the ball starts rolling really, really fast. If you're not, you can still use it, uh, but it depends on what you're doing. If you're just farming, no, you don't need it. Uh, if you're doing a CQ, it depends on how long the CQ is gonna last. If you can do it and before the skills come back off cooldown, then yeah, you don't need this. MP. This is what it used to do. It had no normal effect, and it was just super effective damage against man attribute enemies. Five hit AoE arts. Five hit AoE arts. 0. 0.33 MP gain. Does this do these numbers sound somewhat familiar? Yeah. Yeah, this is this is who I'm bringing up. Samurabuki, she has 0.5% higher gain than Hokusai. Now you guys might think I'm tripping. 
but 30% MP gain. 30% arts. With a battery. Nothing else to help looping. What does Hokusai have? 30% arts. The 0.33 5 hit AoE MP. Little more arts. And with the buff, 30% MP gain. Her looping profile is now similar to Summer Ibuki. But you have to remember, Summer Ibuki is a berserker. Gonna get better refund numbers simply because she will hit overkill significantly easier than Hokusai. Like, not even a question. Hokusai hit, hitting overkill has... He needs way more firepower than Ibuki does. Simply because Ibuki just doesn't need as much damage. It's easier for her to hit overkill. Well, Hokusai, she absolutely needs this stuff. But the big, big, big kicker is this Arts Res Down. The base chance for it is 500%. If the enemy does not have debuff immunity, they have to be immune to like hard debuffs. They have to be immune to all of the buffs. If they do not have that, they are getting this res down. You cannot avoid it. This is awesome. And the best part about both of these is that they happen before damage. If these were after damage, especially this, if this was after damage, holy shit, this would be one of the like biggest middle finger buffs in like in one in an FGO in a long time. It would truly be a middle finger buff almost as bad as gimping uh jack's mp modifier that she like got half an mp buff or like vlad's whose base mp was like lower than normal and he had to get double buff just to have the buffed mp numbers these two in combination lead hokusai able to refund almost 100 percent of her mp now this is this is turn one damage and this is like a normal farming node. Low first hit uh, for enemies. And this is what she's cooking with. Uh, but let's take it back and show what she looked like before this MP. Uh, now, the LDR, um, disclaimer, this is not what it actually looks like because uh in the calcs uh one second i'm actually gonna fix this so it looks like what she had before all right so i went back changed hokusai uh changed her uh mp modifier so that this is more reflective of it and not too bad at 70 but that's still like this is what she used to, and this was neutral. So if you fought assassins or or even berserkers, you were screwed. You were so screwed of trying to get Hokusai to loop. If she needed neutral to get like full refund, like the best refund, or not the best, but to be able to loop 70. Because 70, like for art, 70 is important because that is like Castore's AoE 30 skill. If you do not loop 70, then you are gonna have to start double popping buffs. And if you're not plug suiting, you're gonna be out of luck because you're not gonna have enough battery. But pre-MP, that's that wasn't a good sign. We go like, and then, but, oh, sorry. Gotta take a breath. Okay. So what this is all just saying is that this MP just greatly, or this MP buff just greatly improves the efficacy of Hokusai. If she's able to loop 100%, then you either A, don't need to be plug suiting, or B, you might be able to get away with looping against more than, uh, or be able to get away with looping against two enemies if you have like a 50 battery in reserve. I would not advise 
doing that against berserkers it pretty much has to be neutral but dramatic difference oh yeah also damage uh yeah 93. is that actually in line yes okay yeah so that's in line with what she had before like did the calcs um and then like with with any art servant uh this number ch can change just because castoria mp so real quick 70. oh yeah attack buffs for castoria kind of didn't change her gain um but okay back to what it was before just one castoria mp even at mp1 up oh. That's you 100% refund. And considering she has a 30 battery, you are able to have it. So it, like if she's able to loop 100%, uh, you can have it. So you pop all your Castoria buffs on turn one and you pop possibly even triple MP that turn, like Castoria, Castoria, and then Hokusai, and then just run through the rest of the wave. And then any time that you're lacking battery, Plug suit in Oberon or Rain, someone with split charge. Because only way I see this going down is fighting Berserkers. And we're, we're just gonna calc uh, damage real quick to see like what the first hit of this MP actually would be. So we'll go mineral first. One, three, four, eight, three, eight times point oh six. Eight thousand. This starts becoming uh yeah. Mm -hmm. This starts becoming like a numbers game of whether you're getting overkill or not. Uh if this was a berserker, she would be killing possibly in the first hit which definitely does affect her refund. And like all of these, she is not, it's not showing how many hits of work kill. Unfortunate. Um, yeah, honestly, I really wish this was showing hits of work kill. That would make my life so much easier. But yeah, Okusai, her refund is just straight up better. And not to mention, this is not taking into consideration Notice here, special attack, power mod, not nothing in here. This is Hokusai on her own without uh, it being man attribute. And actually something to note about using Hokusai with Castoria. He is a foreigner, meaning you are fighting, like you are very likely to bring her to fight other foreigners and like alter egos, pretenders, like the extra class. Castoria has a power mod to threat against humanity. You can bring Hokusai to fight all these bosses except uh, Mecha Ellie's. So she is one of the cases where it actually is important who she's fighting, like because Castoria will get so much stronger with her. Um, and let me just double check whether this is 50 or yeah it's 50 percent power mod boy and sky is, is way more common but doesn't change the fact that like when it works with castoria it works you bring castoria to fight the hardest bosses of the game most of the a lot of the hardest bosses in the game have threat to humanity so is hokusai someone you need to pick up this buff just makes her so much more appealing I am not saying she's better than Summer Ibuki. That is not what I'm saying. But I mean, you can't bring Summer Ibuki to fight foreigners. You can for Hokusai. Like, yes, you can bring Summer Ibuki to fight pretenders, but you really are going to be shit out of luck if you do not have someone to deal with foreigners. Um,. 
yeah like that's i think is hokusai's probably best role if abuki isn't gonna be able to do it because there's a foreigner in the wave hokusai is probably going to be taking that spot uh I'm not saying the most recent 90 plus plus, the one that we got for um, the older Type Moon collab with um, Hibiki and Ch uh, Chikagi, uh, because that was a one, two, three node and that had riders. I wouldn't have brought Hokusai for that. But yeah, like uh, Lottos, where three, one, three, and in the third wave, it's a foreigner. Ibuki is going to stop dead in her tracks. Hokusai is going to thrive there. So if you have Hokusai, you are eating good. If you don't have Hokusai, she's not on raid up. And we haven't seen what the actual summer banners are. So don't go super out your way for Hokusai. But if you have a chance to pick her up, definitely. She is really good now. All right, that's it for me. See you guys in the next one piece okay so i have to add this into the video like while i'm streaming uh according to uh x naya and i tested this myself in game with my own hokusai um her defense down is applying like before she does damage which it definitely affects like all the scaling as you uh, go upwards with her super effective mod and everything so i'm not gonna show the uh all i have to do is like drop this down by a little bit um but yeah this is our damage uh neutral without super effective modifier uh 50 percent this is the scaling for turn three oberon with super effective against man attribute uh this is really 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 high uh mp1 damage that <laughs> the bar is just being raised so much oh my god uh this wow focus on i'm not saying she's must summon now but uh this ah uh, i wish this i hope this is a feature and it's not a bug uh i don't know how long this has been in the game but ah uh, please all right uh i'm gonna go back to streaming uh peace thank you for making it to the end of this video if you enjoyed drop a like or sub Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.